Yo, it's me, Dead Carpet, and Dead Carpet Energy Drink Reviews, and this is my 525th Energy Drink Review video. It's 12.20 p.m. at Saturday, August 8th, 2015. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing something unique and cool. Today I'm going to be reviewing one of two flavors of this. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing the Breakfast Blend flavor. Of the brand new Stacker 2, not just coffee, like Energy Coffee K-Cups. Oh yeah, you know what this is. This was like $24 before shipping. Total was like 40 something Well, actually it was like 30 something because both flavors was like 70 something Just, you know what I mean? So it was like 35 or 38 or something like that. But anyway, it has 12 cups of it. So I think it's worth it. it. Says for use in K Cup single serve brewing systems, breakfast blend, five grams of protein, stack or two, not just coffee, dietary supplement, twelve zero point forty two ounce, eleven point ninety one grams cups, nut weight four point nine nine ounces, one hundred forty one point thirty six grams. And yeah, it says twelve cups on the K Cup and shows the K Cup. I'll read off the cake up when I open it. Top is the same thing as that side I just read. The side says breakfast blend, stack or two, not just coffee, five grams of protein. The other side says the same thing. The bottom's just the SKU. And this side it says has a Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest logos. Slash Stacker 2 Energy. Supplement fact, serving size 1 cup. Servings per container 12. Calories 20. Protein 5 grams, 10%. Sodium 10 milligrams, 0%. Proprietary blend 11.91 grams. It's Arabica coffee, whey protein, and glycine. Allergen warning contains milk. Manufactured and distributed by copyright 2014 NV Pharmaceuticals. Andover, New Jersey 07821. Phone number is 1-800-548-3546, www.notjustnutrition.com, www.stacker2.com, K-Cup and Keurig are registered trademarks of Keurig Incorporated. Stacker 2, not just single serve cups, are not affiliated with nor approved by Keurig Incorporated. Protein content is derived from a matrix of whey protein and the amino acid glycine. And my neighbor's outside, so I'm sorry if you can hear him. There's the box. I'll let you see it. Top of the box. It's sort of hard to hold because it's like square. The bottom of the box is SKU. Can't really see it though. This is side. And there's the back. And then there's this side. Okay, and I'm going to open it and take out a K-Cup and show it to you. And my mom just got home, but anyway, I guess there's a hole in it. Because you can see there's like coffee on the box and stuff, and that's what it looks like. Because there's 12 of them. So yeah, I think one had like a hole in it or something. So that sucks. Um, here's what the K-Cup looks like. It's just like a normal K-Cup. Here's the top of it. Stacker 2, not just coffee, breakfast blend with 5 grams of protein. Contains milk, mix 1 cup. This unit not labeled for retail sale. So yeah. So, this is my first video I'm going to do this. But I'm going to film me using my new key rig that I have. So, I'm going to go like do the key rig and make this. 
and then come back in my bedroom and taste it and give my review for it. So hold on a minute. Okay, yo, I'm back. Okay, here's my Keurig. My tablet's outside camera films it like, it looks way close up, but it's actually way far away. So I'm sorry about that. But I have it heated up, so now it's ready to go. So now I just gotta open it and put in the K cup. Close it. Then press the coffee button. Well, the large cup button. Should start coming out. Oh yeah. Oh, it's looking good. Oh, it smells good. smoking a bit because it's so hot oh, I think you can see that smoke yeah a little bit Should be almost done making it. Okay. okay, I think it's done making it now. Yeah, it's done. Okay. See, there's the cake up. It's done now. So I'm gonna take it in my room and I'll finish my review. So hold on a minute. Okay, I'm back. I don't know why, but the smell of the K cup after I used it, you know? It smells like old VHS boxes, you know, like from like Disney and stuff. Because VHS boxes had like a unique smell to them. It smells just like it. I really like that smell. Reminds me of smelling old VHS boxes. So, you know, that's cool. Oh, wow. Wow. I love that smell. That smells really good. Okay. Coffee's still, like, way too hot. I waited, like, almost ten minutes. Color, I don't know if you'll be able to see it good, but, it's, you know, you've seen it while I was making it. like just like coffee colors like dark brown and black yeah still way too hot though right now um and doesn't smell too bad i think it's like a medium roast or something yeah the flavor is not actually like a bitter coffee it's like a yeah it's just like It's just like a normal coffee flavor. I guess maybe like a medium roast or something. Because it doesn't taste bitter at all. I could actually probably drink it if it was just colder without milk or sugar or anything. It's actually pretty okay to drink. I'm probably about to go add milk though to it. And make it cool down and make it a little bit of sugar. But yeah, it just tastes like normal coffee right now. Doesn't taste bitter. Um, not sweet. It's just like normal coffee. With protein in it. The one with more energy stuff in it will be in my next review though. 
Then when I'm going to add milk to it and sugar, I'll be back. So hold on a minute. Okay, I'm back. I added some sugar and some, and some milk to it. Now it's like a light brown color. Yeah. It smells just like coffee with milk and sugar. I like it now. It's really good. But yeah, it's just like basically like a medium roast coffee. It wasn't too bitter at first. I could like drink it probably without sugar and milk. Only if it was cooled down more though. But I had some milk to it now, so now it's cool. Add some sugar. Now it's really good. <sighs> quick way to get quick protein. Five grams of protein. It's just like normal coffee right now though. Um, has like a hundred milligrams of caffeine or around there. Um, it tastes good. I like it. It's definitely unique. Um, yeah, definitely try this so you can find it. It's like really unique. This one doesn't have a lot of energy stuff in it. Then the one I'm reviewing next time is more like a true energy coffee thing or something. This one's just like protein and coffee. With, you know, like the normal caffeine and coffee. So energy-wise, I'd say it probably lasts about maybe two hours to three hours. Um, it was 12 K-Cups for $24 before shipping. So it's basically like $2 a K-Cup, like before shipping. But shipping would probably be more like $3 a K-Cup. So it's sort of like expensive for a K-Cup. If it's with shipping, but still expensive being like $2 a K-Cup. Could have been cheaper. Um, it's really unique though. It's not bitter. Um, you can probably drink this. Being okay. Um, but yeah, it's really unique though. That's what I like. That's what I like about it. It's cool. Definitely try this if you can find it. I don't even know where they sell this because I had to order it off their website. Yeah, I give the brand new Stacker 2 Not Just Coffee Breakfast Blend with 5 grams of protein, like Energy Coffee K-Cups or whatever. I give it an 8 out of 10. It's pretty good. It's not bitter. You can probably drink it without milk and sugar if you let it cool down. Um, Energy-wise, it works okay, but the one I'm reviewing next time is more energy-wise. Like, you know what I mean? Stay tuned for my next review, because this one's okay, but the next one's probably going to be better. So yeah. Anyway, my next review, I'm going to be reviewing the brand new stack or two, not just coffee, high test energy coffee K-Cups. Also has 5 grams of protein, but has 3 times more caffeine. Stay tuned for that review. That one's probably going to be better than this one. Okay, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace out. And bye.